Hi everyone. So today we're gonna check out probably the most minimalistic design of putting on step on Dobsonian. Minimalistic in terms of that you only need three 3D printed parts to make it spin. Specifically a nice large timing wheel. Uh, this one basically you want to print as large as possible which goes on your altitude bearing of your Dobsonian telescope and uh, with this specific part I was pushing the limits of my 3D printer which is like has a print bed of 300 by 300 millimeters right so you don't want to have it as large as possible to have like good leverage for a gear at stepper motor to pull it and as you see this is this wheel is almost like 300 millimeters in diameter specifically this one was designed to have 300 teeth on it but as you see it's not common gt2 design with two millimeter pitch unlike like we have in our 3d printers fdm 3d printers right this one is HTD 3M timing belt which is which has a much more aggressive teeth of three millimeter pitch right so basically it just grabs better the belt by itself is I believe 15 millimeters wide almost 15 millimeters wide so it's the belt itself because it's wide it's gonna be much safer so when there are wind gusts on your telescope this belt will perform much better in terms of how it how it will hold your telescope steady yeah okay ordering items from channel let's clean it up just a little bit And a little bit more. So this belt will perf perform much better than typical GT2. You can even get a GT2, but uh, they usually come like six millimeters wide or five millimeters wide, and they like they like more have less sort of they are less stiff than a 15 millimeter wide HTD 3M. At the same time, the other benefit with those nice aggressive teeth is that I am printing with 0.8mm nozzle, so uh, which allows me to print part like this much faster. So the faster printing, less printing time, lesser probability of having your part fail during printing. I don't have a, a heated chamber on my FDM, so for me it's like very critical to keep a co constant temperature in the room to have it printed nicely without wrap and this part actually wrapped just a little bit over here but I think it's gonna perform just fine so with 0.8 millimeters nozzle it took me probably like a night it it was done overnight so a win-win situation with HTD 3M belt Stiffer belt, wider belt will hold my telescope better, as well as this specific 3D part, which is gonna like basically tilt your tube up and down, is uh, prints much faster and easier. With with 0.8 millimeter nozzle, it's almost impossible to do two millimeter pitch teeth, right? And uh, depending on your printer and configuration, you might need to have a a bunch of trial and error in terms of diameter and sort of pitch precision to have this belt like fit super nice without overrunning the teeth or underrunning the teeth distance over the whole whole sort of circumference right again this specific design is for Dobstonians made by Orion, specifically Skyline series, because Orion have two series of Dobsonians, Skyline and XT. So this design is not for XT. 
The deal is that Orion's Skyline series has much better uh, ac hardware on altitude axis, which are bearing based and uh, the whole design of this block which holds the tube on Orion Skyline uh, is very nicely uh, adaptable for this wheel, right? You can basically just slap this on top of it, add additional two nuts inside the mounting mechanism and just screw it on. This specific project requires zero, absolute zero modifications to your Dobsonian mount or your telescope by itself. You just add a couple nuts on it, screw this wheel on top and, and screw the motor block assembly and you got to go. So other telescopes this project is compatible with are Apertura Dobsonians and Zumel Dobsonians. And this specific design is for 10 inch telescope. Uh, what's the difference? The only difference will be the belt. We, this specific one is one, one saw 1569 millimeters, right? So I believe this millimeter lens, not a T count, but I can double check later and post specific, exact specification. So basically, depending on the size of your teles telescope, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, you might need a different belt lens, right? Uh, and you will see later why is why this specific lens of the belt is important. Um, yeah, and as well as for different diameters of the telescopes, you might need to print the different diameters of a wheel. I believe like even for 12 inch, this diameter of, a wheel, of the wheel will be sufficient. So if you have an FDM of 300 millimeters uh, print bed, this would do. Uh, this specific wheel might be a little too large for 6 inch Dobsonians or 8 inch Dobsonians because like, the tube will be much narrower than the wheel itself. It still will likely fit the Dobsonian mount uh, box itself, but uh, but it's just gonna look a little awkward, right? So, and now by the way, and let's talk about most interesting part of this project is why just only three 3D printed parts? And uh, big, big uh, contribution of being so minimalistic is in uh, ideas which I've put into this specific piece. And this specific piece designed to hold two motors at a time and mount onto the Dobsonian box like a clamp. So let's let me put it together and you will see what I'm talking about. So, mm, uh, this, this part is actually supposed to help hold this, this motor. And as you see, those are uh, geared steppers from Stepper Online. You can check out the model number. So those are like 100 to 1 high precision gear at steppers. They have very good torque, minimal, like I cannot feel it with a hand, like minimum play or backlash in it. And this again, HD, HTD 3M pulley of 20 T's. So the gear is 300 T's. This pulley is 300 T's, this pulley is 20 T's, so I'm getting 15, I believe, right? 15 ratio, which I'm gonna put in on step configuration later, additional to 100. So my total, uh, this, this, bar, this and this part will give me total 15 by 100, so I'm gonna have a transfer ratio of 1500. And this piece is goes over here, so motor should nest nicely. Uh, I'm gonna pull the wire this side, uh, and it, it will just make the wire go inside into the box of the Dobsonian mount. And let's see what lenses of screws I'm using here. 
those are all M4 screws because they used to mount motors uh, and uh, used to mount motors and this kind of bracket. Uh, you could also 3D print this bracket as well, but I already had it, so uh, it's nice that it has uh, those kind of cutouts which allows me to adjust the height of stepper uh, mounted uh, stepper mounting for uh, azimuth control uh, so let's get to it Okay, I'm apparently am I using the right looks like it's right one. This one. Oh no, the length of my screw driver is not sufficient. Let me look up if I have another one. Mm, this one too big. That's the first fail. Okay, I will do the that bot later somehow, but uh, let's continue the rest of the assembly. XN bicycle to go box cam comes for the rescue. Yeah, this will run. Not exactly. Fine. Sorry for that noise. My neighbors love me. I know that. Yeah, maybe a better idea put the pool later. But I actually was designing everything to the pulley dimension pulley dimensions by itself. So you probably already see how this is gonna work. So 
another interesting part are those nuts. Specifically, this is the very same nuts which are used inside the assembly, bearing assembly for your tube tilting in Dobsonian mount. They just slide inside the cutout in the bearing block to which the bearing block is sort of screwed to. And you in, into the same into the same cutout you can install actually two similar nuts to screw to edish, to screw this wheel to right so and since i bought them basi basically i bought them to mount the wheel but i got few more in place and for those nuts having like much longer uh, surface area to grab inside the 3d printed plastic i also decided to use the same those are those basically by the to use to use the same thing as uh, for my clamping mechanism so but in this specific case you may use just a regular m6 nuts and any kind of uh, 40 millimeter knarlet bolt Right, I, I had those from some of my other devices where I replaced in MSLA bolt, in MSLA printer I had those for like holding a vet in my MSLA and uh, I decided to replace curled nuts in my MSLA printer with full metal ones because that nasty liquid in MSLA printer destroys plastic really it's getting crumbled so i kept those normal screws and so they could come handy so they came handy for this telescope mount project anyway hoarding all the way right so those nuts are getting inserted here and here right and now i can screw in those bolts so you're probably already getting the idea how this is gonna work. Right, some washers for better area. So basically screwing those nuts, this piece will work like a clamp around the vertical board of your Dobsonian mounts, of your Dobsonian base. So basically you have this wall of your Dobsonian base and it's just getting mounted to as a clamp and you have just a belt around it. And then the distance, this surface is actually very critical in this part design. And it depends on actual dimensions of each specific Dobsonian mount based on what makes this specific part incompatible with say 8 inch telescope or 12 inch telescope so this specific piece developed specifically for 10 inch or 10 inch tube uh, i mean 10 inch mirror telescope which has 12 inch tube but um, so this specific the angle and orientation uh, distance from this this corner over here so over here we have like this wall of the uh, Dobsonian box right so the distance from this corner to this surface orientation and angle for those drills will very precisely measure it before even printing the thing right but you can do like trial error try right? multiple prints this part is very small like prints in a couple hours uh, maybe quicker if you have a better 3D printer than me. So, so you you will see later how this dimensioning of this specific surface, it, why it is so critical. Uh, so now putting so this is will be our altitude meter, and now I'm gonna put into in place a uh, alt azimuth motor. So and for azimuth motor. We have our source 3D printed part, which will be a friction drive. So 
uh, friction drive is not my idea and friction drive specifically possible for those models of telescope because they have a round bottom base where you basically can have this wheel running around around running around the bottom base of telescope and just you see those like cutouts i put in three rubber rubber o-rings on it again uh, diameter is not critical you have you will have to measure it and by trial and error configure exact transfer ratio in on step configuration uh, i just had a bunch of rings of this diameter purchased earlier for another project just ha having them in my drawer so I just decided to reuse them for this project so this specific part was designed for this specific o-ring diameter which was which is 25 millimeter you don't want it too small uh, and to have to have larger contact area in a friction drive and at the same time you don't want it to be too large because it will all depend on because it will sort of be put a lot more load on the motor as well as you will have a lesser transfer ratio of your gearing it's already like one, one to 100 in this box and then it will be the diameter of this wheel against the diameter of bottom base whatever is the ratio there i did not measure it but i expect it would be something like one to oof, one to 40 or something i zoom in yeah so to, to, total i probably should get like 4000 total transfer ratio we'll see uh, but uh, my original like uh, some basic estimations gave me the feeling that it should be right all right put in this kind of a mechanism so this those cutouts over here will allow me to adjust the positioning on this friction drive uh, against the uh, edge of the bottom bottom base of the Dobsonian mount right so and i already sort of know where it should be slightly above because those there will be a protruding bolts holding the motor but somewhere over here should be fine and oh sorry first things first place all the mounting nuts inside their respective locations Uh, nice and tidy and again um, i will put out a link in description to the singiverse page where you will be able to download all those uh, parts uh, just uh, if you have a 10 inch dobsonian mount uh, sorry 10 inch zoom l apertura or orion skyline dobsonian consider yourself lucky because this probably is one of the easiest projects to put together with oh, damn it, with zero woodworking woodworking required again this specific on stepping you will have to do absolutely nothing absolute zero modifications to your mount itself you don't need to drill holes in it you don't need to cut out openings for your stepper motors and such it's all just like plug and play and removable which was like a critical to me because like i live in a rented apartment i if I need to take my telescope out and travel with it somewhere, I gonna like put it apart, uh, remove the tube from the base and so on. And having this like nice and quick clamping mount and like a roll allows me to remove it, to remove the tube from the from the base like in a matter of seconds. All right, I think this will. Be... For now, I'm not trying to be super tight on this one. Nope. 
Okay, now I'm gonna adjust adjust the elevation. I just need clearance over here enough to compensate the height of this bolt, right? Because this base at the maximum belt tension, this base will be almost touching the the bottom of the of the Dobsonian box. So, uh, but I don't want this to be sticking out too much because this this piece is actually like sort of compliant mechanism. This wall is sort of gonna float with a sort of uh, inaccuracies of the curvature of the bottom base while it's rolling. So basically this this wall is so thin, made so thin deliberately to work like a suspension for the azimuth motor against the circumference of bottom base of the Dobsonian mount. Alright, so how I'm gonna do this? I'm just gonna slap two bolts inside or maybe even three put it sideways flat and then tighten up this oh no just sideways and maybe just add some kind of a plastic card plastic card right track I triple A so plastic card for it. it's a little bit of additional clearance oh okay. Place is much easier than hold three in place. So yeah, so you see this this plastic card will ensure that I will have a little bit of additional clearance from protruding bolts, so they will never catch the the bore. So so the, this mechanism should be floating. It ideally it nothing from the bottom piece should from the bottom side should touch the, the, the uh, components of Dobsonian box okay, let me unscrew. okay so you see it dropped nice and flat this also probably will help me to ensure somewhat perpendicularity or to have a nice 90 degree angle of the motor less we're out of the rubber Yeah, another option to adjust to adjust elevation, you can basically just move this pulley right to right and as I said, as you probably see, this pulley is not is not orange. It's it's printed on MSLA just to, for a because like it's precise part which will affect my timing and things, right? So I printed it uh, on MSLA because it makes it very smooth and much more precise than an FDM printer. So on FDM printer I would probably have to, had to switch back to 0.4 millimeter nozzle to print it with a higher accuracy. But if you print this piece on FDM, uh, I don't think you will feel any difference. You, uh, any difference in mount performance will be absolutely noticeable, right? So yeah, just for peace of mind, MSLA more round. Uh, all right and and the motor okay how to put it come on okay i'm thinking how i'm gonna orient the wire so the part will be sitting so this is sitting this way over here will be internals of the dobsonian box and this motor gonna be sticking out like this so i don't want to orient up uh, wires this way because this will be sort of sticking outside of the Dobsonian mount or or that way so this will be like a prefer preferable orientation 
of the wire so having the most allowable distance to the on step controller which is in the bottom of the box right and And for those I'm using my shorter bolts, which uh, I believe they are six millimeters. All those bolts are M4 bolts, uh, except knurled nuts, which are M6. And those motors come keyed with a with a keyway, so I'm gonna place it again. This plastic piece, right? And I don't wanna like over tighten those like set screws. Uh, but to keep it like steady in place, I'm just gonna sort of make it make them enter a keyway. Yeah, that's right. This all the way down. Yeah, big part of this like again. Big benefit of the MSLA printer for parts like this is that you getting like very perfect accuracy and print if printed printing uh, round parts. vertically yeah this will do I only feel the way yeah not too tight yeah but it still holds as well yeah so I feel just a play of a gearbox a little a little play of a gearbox all right so now you see this is the whole alt azimut block which is mounted on the Eudopsonian mount in a second. And now let's travel to the, tel to the telescope itself and see how it looks.